Hey guys, welcome back. Quick update here on Bitcoin. We are right now still in a no trading zone. We are having uh, what it happens sometimes that the price squeezes in between the moving averages. Uh, I have here the, the weekly chart. These are the weekly candles and we can see the 20 and the 50 week moving average and the price is trapped in between them and i am expecting now of course i don't know the future as i always say ta cannot uh see the future but it can give you a, an idea of what might happen based on how you know charts react over and over and over what's the most probable thing to happen and i think we're gonna have a squeeze here in between uh the moving averages we're having it already and until we don't see a break either in the upside or in the downside a break out of these uh moving averages we're not gonna see any you know significant movement to give you a high probability trade to enter whether it's long or short i, I mean this happens to any chart sometimes <laughs> price gets squeezed in between the moving averages and then you need to wait for the break before you enter long or short uh, i've no idea if it'll break up or down the moving averages to tell you the truth i'm 50 50 i've no idea we might be stuck here for like another month uh, or more i mean i expect to stay stuck here and this is going to be a big range if you see from the 20 moving average uh is around 10,000 uh and the 50 moving average it's around 7500 so from 7500 up to 10000 so long as the price is stuck here this is going to be a no trading zone and i know this is a big range guys but remember let me go to the daily remember we we just went along from our last trade guys was from 7,000 here up to 9,500. So it was impossible to do it better. I mean, we got almost the bottom and almost the top here. So we've been long in this trade. This was the last trade we had for Bitcoin. Uh, I've, been, I've been giving this signal way before this pattern here broke. So we exited at 9.5 and since then this has been a uh, you know a stay away area here until this decides the daily chart looks uh looks good because we just had a bullish cross here on the moving averages on the daily but we will see we are basically going sideways then it's very difficult to trade very risky and very difficult from 7500 up uh to 10000 more or less it's going to be a no trade zone if we look at other times in the history of bitcoin after we had these bubbles i mean i think everybody can agree that the pattern we are having now it's very similar to this to this one here is very similar to this one here and even <clears throat> even if we go uh farther uh in the past it's very similar to this one when we have the first crash uh bull trap bigger crash bull trap and then final correction and when we touch bottom if we were to be at the bottom here if this was the bottom at, at 6000 which is not clear at all like we're still 50 50 this was the bottom or not but even if if if, it, if this was a bottom uh usually when bitcoin bottoms it takes a long time until the next bull run i mean it's going sideways of course you would have had an opportunity to go long here which we did already is the one I just showed here we went long from seven to nine five we did take this opportunity but after that look at how long it it went sideways squeezing in between the moving averages before the siding uh, to break up here and this one this one in this case it was more obvious it was going to break in the upside because it corrected like 90 percent from top to bottom which is not the case this year in this pattern but in in any case whether it breaks up or down it usually takes a long time and the side that here i mean this was how long from here to here this was 133 days and this is a very long time going sideways if it happens now 
uh, in this current year, then that's going to be a long time waiting, but it is what it is. I mean, I just made a video the other day talking about why trading is not fun because you need to be very, very patient unless you want to lose your money. And reality is most people are not patient and they're, they're going to be trying to day trade these little bounces and getting it wrong 90% of the times because it's very difficult when it's going sideways to anticipate it if it'll go up, down. It's difficult. You don't trade this zone. Professional traders don't trade this zone they just move on to the next chart and there's 1500 altcoins there that are very bullish some of them of course not all but bitcoin is not the place to be trading at the moment for this reason because when charts go sideways there's no opportunity there it's very very difficult so here we ha uh, we had the exact same thing a big crash bull trap a second crash a second bull trap and then after it finished correcting it finished uh, the correction. It went sideways for a very long time here before the siding. So how long it was this from here, more or less to here, 91 days. So, you know, actually it started going up. Let's just take from here to here because after this, it broke out the moving average, as you can see. So, but still 35 days. So that's a month, a little bit more than a month, just stuck here in this area, not being able to break above you know the moving average here uh same here it stayed you know we had the the first crash bull trap bigger correction and then in between the moving averages as you can see resistance here in this moving average support here in this moving average and then it stuck here until it decided to break up but it was a fake out and then after that it stayed here for uh for how long 91 days yeah because these are the the weekly candles actually maybe from this one to be more, to be fair, uh, 56 days going sideways here before deciding to break down. So I think we are somewhere here in these patterns. I mean, all of these patterns that I showed are very, very similar with each other and is exactly where we are right now because it's very, very similar with the pattern we have, uh, you know, today. What is the chart of today with Phoenix here? Uh, if I go to the weekly again, uh, we can hide all this. Top of the bubble, first crash, uh, bull trap, bigger correction, second bull trap, and now in between moving averages. So I expect this to be going sideways. Volume is still decreasing in a weekly scale. It can go as high as, you know, 11,000, 11, something like that. And it would still be in a no trade zone. And I know I get comments sometimes uh, saying, oh, it doesn't matter if it's a bull trap. It doesn't matter if it's uh, whatever. If you're a good trader, you should be trading it and taking advantage. Again, guys, we did already trade all we could trade here from bottom to top of this pattern. We already went long from seven to nine, five. What else you wanna do here? You wanna be day trading this? Yes, there's some percentage here if you got to do it perfect, but let me tell you something here. This is very difficult to anticipate. If you trade these parts for a 10%, if you would have done it perfect here, you would have got uh, 10% going short, but it's very difficult. If you try to trade these little bounces, you're going to get burned. You're going to get it wrong more often than not, or at least 50% 50, 50 of the times you would get it wrong. If you are very, very pro and you do a very good technical, anal technical analysis, you would break even here. And I believe people who watches my channel are not experts. That's why they watch my channel. If they were, they were not, they would, they wouldn't be watching my video. So stay away of these parts if you don't want to lose money. So that's basically the short message for, for Bitcoin, squeezing in between moving averages on a daily scale. And until we are out of there, I would not trade this one. So with this said, the place to be is in the alts. There are some alts that are very, very bullish. And talking about that, guys, I just published a poll. Uh, if you go to, actually, if you subscribe to the free Telegram group here, you have the link here. Just subscribe to the free Telegram uh, channel. The, uh, it's in the description of this video and you have the, the link here. Uh, click and it'll take you to the poll 
which is published on my website and you can vote for the next technical analysis uh, video for the, you know, among the, fi the top 15 coins by market cap. I just published this maybe half an hour ago. So we had uh, 29, 29 votes and this is going to be running for two days. And the winner coin, I will pick the winner coin here for my technical analysis on Friday. And on Friday, I will make my TA video on the winning coin out of this and it'll be published on my website. It won't be uh, going to YouTube, but you can get notified when this video is ready. If you subscribe to this free Telegram channel, I share here, I share here the links whenever, whenever I publish something uh, on my website uh, that, it, uh, that it doesn't go on YouTube. So guys, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.